What's up everybody, this is Rudy with Game Override, and today I'm going to show you all my heavy build for War of the Roses. So, I've been playing War of the Roses uh, these last couple days since it came out, and I am loving this game. It is a lot of fun, and I just I cannot get enough of it. Uh, so let's see, I wanted, to do, I wanted to do something a little bit more than just like your generic review of the game, so I decided to go a little bit more in depth and show you guys some gameplay footage. So I'm going to be showing you guys in this video my heavy build. I'll go ahead and start with the perks. My offensive perks are going to be Man at Arms, Shield Breaker, so I can do a lot of damage to those shields and get through them, and Break Block. My defensive perks are going to be Armor Training, Thick Skinned, and Regen. Regen is very, very important because I bandage myself a lot. I, I take a lot of damage. This is this is my tank build. Uh, I'm going to use Surgeon with Sterilized Bandages and Barber Surgeon. Sterilized Bandages, very important if you're going to be tanking. My movement perks will be Runner and Fleet Footed. And my Officer perks are going to be my Damage and my Armor Buff. For my main weapon, I'm going to be using the pole arm and the pole axe, which is a level 20 unlockable weapon. It is amazing. I love this weapon so much. I'm going to be using the Milanese fighting style, standard steel, and hollow grind so I can penetrate plate armor with the standard shaft. Um, and when you guys see me play, I will show you why I love this weapon. For my sidearm, I'm going to be using the mace, Milanese fighting style, standard steel, Standard shaft. Um, no shield. Helmet and armor are going to be both plate. And for my helmet, I'm also going to be using my the armor wrapper. Uh, and you'll notice I have a red, silver, white, and blue theme going on. This is my American theme to pay homage to the political debates that are going on right now. It's pretty awesome. I have a gigantic ass bird, a giant eagle on my head which, believe me, it, it does obstruct my view, but it's totally worth it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and find a decent server. So this build is very good at tanking and doing lots of damage. Um, with the pole arm, I have a little bit of range so I can be flexible as what I, with what I do. Um, and I love to just go in, jump in like a group of people, and just start swinging. We're on the verge of defeat. All right. So the enemy has captured all the objectives. The way that I use this build, oh damn it! Oh well, we'll find another server. It was my frustration clicking. <laughs> all right. Well, that's good. It'll be a fresh battle. Oh, and I love this map coming up too. This is a great map. So for this build, um. The pole arm is key, absolutely key. One because of the blunt damage that you do. Um, if you push Q, you can flip the head of the weapon to where it doesn't use the blade; it uses the the hammer part. So you do blunt damage, which absolutely destroys shields and plate armor. Or you can thrust, and I primarily use the thrust because it does a ridiculous amount of damage and goes straight through plate armor. So I like to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with heavies, and this is a very good build to do that with. Um, there are a lot of good heavy builds. Uh, one that I've noticed is the Warhammer heavy build, and they are very similar, uh, this build and that one. The only real difference that I can see, other than of course the, the being the main weapon, is the range. The Warhammer um, you need to be a little bit closer than you do the pole arm or the pole axe. Uh, so it's very good if you want to get really, really close and just start swinging. Um, I typically like to use the pole axe because I get that extra range. For the white Go ahead and be the commander of the first team. I love being commander. I have to be commander so I can use my perks. And I'm, I'm very good about using my perks, so I'm sure my team appreciates it as well. And plus, I like having the backup. Let's go. So this is Conquest. Drive out the enemy. Um, if you have not played the game, 
basically it's just like Battlefield 3. You go to the control points, you stand there until you capture it, and you get lots of money and lots of experience. Um, if you're just starting out, I highly, highly recommend that you play Conquest, because it is pretty much free points. I think it's a thousand experience and a thousand gold just for being in the right place at the right time. You don't have to fight anyone, you don't have to be good, all you do is run up, capture the point, get lots of points. So it's very good when you're trying to get money to test out builds or just level up your character. Here I am capturing the second point. Already 1,000 gold in my pocket. So once I capture this point, I'm going to go do some damage. Try and find some heavies, try and take out some archers. Hopefully I don't die and make myself look like an idiot. <laughs> so as you can tell, my crest is gigantic. It is in my way. Alright. So I'm going to hit up C. We're going to find some enemies there. And depending how many there are is going to determine if I drop my... Oh. Thrust! Thrust! And he's down. Come here. Oh, you bastard. If I'm going one-on-one -on -one with some of these two-handed swordsmen, I like to drop my visor. Oh. Too many of them, though. The visor does obstruct your vision, but it does protect you against those face shots. Especially from those two-handed swordsmen. And pole arms as well, and arrows, so it's just generally good, but I try not to use it unless I have very good situational awareness, and I'm going one-on-one. -on -one. Alright, so, not too successful. I took down one of the heavies, but I really wanted to capture that point. I'm going to push back, see if I can get some of my teammates up there. I'm going to try and capture that point. Make sure there's no archers up there. Oh, there's too many. Oh, go back out. <laughs> that was not good. Where's my team? Oh. I can't make it. I gotta get out of here. Oh, no. There's too many of them. <laughs> so we're not doing too well. I have no idea what my team is doing. They're not trying to get this control point. I beg you, mercy. Maybe we are very archer heavy in this match. Oh, that's a long drop. I almost died. So they're gonna be coming here to try and capture this point. I'm gonna go save that archer down there. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Probably should take care of him. Oh, that's my teammate. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, shields. I don't like shields. When you're fighting shields, it's good to uh, s swing to try and break that. Oh, that shield. That was just an unlucky shot. I could have had my visor down, but I was trying to get that one guy. I beg you. Let's try that again. And we lost the control point already. Look at that. 40 damage, right through plate armor. And he's down. Good way to take out heavies. I love this weapon. Let's see if we can make the jump. Oh, he went down. Oh, there's so many! Crap! <laughs> they are doing a very good job of working together. I don't know where my team is, but they are not helping me capture these points. That's alright. I can take this guy out. Don't you dare! Get back here! Try and run for me. You better be bleeding. He's going for face shots. And he's down. Ah. 
Oh, Jesus. And he's down. Oh, you can have my execution, I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead and take it. Alright, did we lose this cat? Did we take it? Okay, we did get it. Cool. Oh, he's going for piercing damage. So I'm swinging at this archer because he has a shield. And I want to make sure that I break it. This guy does not have a shield. He has just a long sword? Oh man. I tried to knock him down. He's going down. And he's dead. <laughs> Here's a little archer. And he's dead. Let's see if I can capture this one. So I'm leading my team. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm not the best player. I'm somewhat of a decent player. So if I'm on the top of my team, then that's not really a good thing. I have an arrow in my back. Actually, I have enough time to bandage. Let's see if I can get away with it. And thanks for the free kill. And I'll go ahead and do the execution. Oh, America! Good job, Archers. Ow. It's too tight for me to get into good swings. What the hell did I... Oh, it hit me. Oh! I think I got a kill! That was interesting. Let me go ahead and bandage real quick. Oh, maybe not. 34, bam! Two hits, piercing damage, he's down. Oh, let me raise this guy. Oh, or not. Come on, team. Alright. This may be a long battle, guys. I don't plan on losing. So we have a lot to come back from. Uh oh, here he goes. Oh! Where'd my team go? Oh no. So, as much as I would like to be able to, I cannot take four on by myself. It would be nice though. One, definitely. Two, maybe. Three, probably. Four, not so much. Trying to save these archers. There we go. Oh, sorry. Sorry there, bub. Oh, good hit. Very good hit. Oh, and we lost. Oh well, I tried. I tried, guys. But that is my heavy build. Pretty good. As you can tell, I can stand my own against two not so great heavies. Uh, and I was the top scorer on my team, so. Man, they did pretty good. They did very well. Hats off to my opponents. And... Good job to my team. We didn't win, but we tried hard. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, this is Rudy. And I will catch you guys later.